In 2014, American venture capitalist and political fundraiser Imad Shah Zuberi received a payment of 3.5 million US dollars from the Embassy of Sri Lanka in Washington DC. The payment was part of a political lobbying contract between Zuberi and former President Mahinda Rajapaksa's UPFA government to rehabilitate Sri Lanka's post-war image in the United States. Within days, more than half the money was siphoned into various personal bank accounts. Of the total 6.5 million US dollars intended for lobbying efforts, legal expenses and media buys, more than 5.6 million US dollars was used to the benefit of Zuberi and his wife. The succeeding Sri Lankan government, under then-President Maithripala Sirisena, exposed Zuberi's misconduct but did not initiate an investigation into his dealings. On 18 February 2021, a US court sentenced Zuberi to 12 years in federal prison for concealing his work as a foreign agent, tax evasion, making illegal campaign contributions, and obstructing a federal investigation into these contributions. Zuberi made a business enterprise out of acting as an unregistered foreign agent. Through his firm, Avenue Ventures LLC, Zuberi offered representatives of foreign governments the opportunity to influence American foreign policy via his powerful political contacts. This list included former US Presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, and current President Joe Biden. U.S. investigations have found that Zuberi used his image as a political insider to exploit a number of foreign governments and humanitarian aid organizations for his financial benefit. Zuberi is expected to report to prison in May.